All right, guys, so we're here at Highway 42 Army Navy. We're taking a look at a crossbow. I have very little crossbow experience, but this is a 16 inch wide Barnett recruit. And luckily we have an expert on the subject, so we can kind of get in here and shoot a couple of times and see what's up with these guys. Yeah, yeah this is a neat little crossbow. Like you said, it's really small, it's lightweight. Um, you do have to have a cock and rope to cock the bow back. Okay. It's a lot easier on your fingers and stuff like that. So we call this a stirrup that you get your foot in? Yeah, the foot's gonna go right here in the stirrup. Basically, you got handles here. And you're just gonna pull straight back from here. It's gonna put it in safety manually for you. Right. So you're good there. And then um, this particular sight has got a red dot scope on it, which is pretty neat. That comes standard with it? It comes standard. Uh, some of them come with scopes. Most of them are gonna come with the three dot red dot. You sight the first in on 20 yards. Sure. And then your your bottom two dots will be dead on for 30 and 40. Awesome. Which is pretty neat. Shoots a standard uh, 20 inch bolt. Okay. Um, and weighted tips are optional. You got them from 100 grain to 150. All right. Put in the safety for them. Knock it off safety. I believe I'm going to try to shoot the deer down here. Right. Well, that's pretty hot. Shooting right at about 300 and. Five, three hundred, ten feet per second. Okay. It's pretty, pretty sweet. What does that break down to into like poundage? The poundage, the pull on the bow is 130 pounds. Which is reduced by the. Reduced tremendously by the cocking rope. A lot of you know younger people, youth are able to do this. Sure, excellent. This bow. Um, excellent bow though. Really neat to shoot. Very lightweight. It kind of looks like a something out of a video game. It does look. Stop. It's got that really tactical thing, and then the venting and the trigger. Mm -hmm. I assume is unnecessary, but it gives you a really cool kind of like, you're saying video game, I almost feel like it's got a weird sci-fi feel to it with yeah. all the weird venting and stuff. Stock is really neat. Just like the whole setup, the unibody deal. Mm -hmm. And it's got Picatinny rails on top and bottom so you can mount flashlight, lasers. Oh yeah, look at that, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting. Well, walk me through the, uh, the priming system, I guess. Okay. And that would be... Every time you shoot the bow, I mean, obviously when you push it to shoot it, it's going to be in fire. So when you cock the bow, it's going to be in fire. Okay. This is going to hook up here. And I usually always make them a little short. Right. Just kind of pull up on here. Okay. Hook your hook on there. <clears throat> kind of cuts the draw weight in half a little bit. And basically, it's just a stand-up pull method. Just okay. Just put, put, put through there and cock and pull it till it clicks. Hmm. That's it. That is very, very cool. And I always check, make sure it man it puts it in safety for you, make sure it's the locked in so nothing can happen. Okay, so safety looks like what on this guy? Right here, safety's all the way back. Okay. So your safety's locked in. And then forward is fire. It has an anti-dry fire system in it, so it's, it can't necessarily, even if you put it in fire, it's not gonna actually let the string go. Not without. Not without a bolt in it, which is neat. Okay. So primary safety feature on these guys is probably keeping your thumb clear, right? Exactly right. So That's just stay down here on this grip. They have the thumb guard there, so basically just... That's really cool. Yeah. So it's it's virtually stupid proof. And you said that your your top pin is sighted in for where we want to be? Yeah, like the very top red dot is what you'll want to use for your uh, shot here. Okay. You pop your safety off when you're ready. You push All right. Forward, you're ready to fire. It feels a lot like a rifle, very, very much less like a bow. And, and there's not a lot of kick. I was expecting a little bit more than that, but it, it does a really good job of absorbing all that. Oh yeah, very neat little bow. Let's set this down, take a look at the shot real quick. How do I do that, upside down? Usually, yeah, you can just throw these upside down. They pretty much just kind of sit there. Very cool. Well, it looks like your shot is much much more dead on than mine, but I was going to say, for, for amateur shooting, not knowing what I'm doing, I think that it's a really, really great starter crossbow. $300 bow base price comes with three arrows, quiver, sure. sight, basically. everything that you need to head out, yes. minus the bolts, I assume. Yeah, I mean, if you want to move, it'll come with three bolts, it comes with a cocking rope, so basically when you leave, you know, you've got it. Oh, yeah, you've got everything you need. Everything you need to play. Well, guys, as always, thanks for watching. That's been the Barnett Crossbow uh, Recruit, and I think that it's a really neat crossbow. I look forward to bringing more reviews on crossbows. I thought that it would be a much more complicated system as I'm not a firearms guy but was pretty stupid proof very easy and thanks for sharing it with us yes, sir.